bit of something for everyone today as I've got Major League Baseball, Olympic basketball, NFL preseason, and another college football win total for you today on the Power Five. Yesterday, I gave out two CFB win totals. Uh, in MLB, we had a rain out and a push, so ended up 0-1 with bets that uh, were finalized. That's okay. Still 15-9 and run on the show since Sunday, although, of course, never like losing. Uh, since a lot of what I have to share with you here on Saturday goes early, let's get right into it. As a reminder, you can always smash that like button if you're in agreement with me on these. One, A's, Blue Jays, under nine. So these teams combined for just four runs last night. Jays winning 3-1. Three of those four runs were a byproduct of solo home runs. I know the A's had their run in July where they were number one in WRC+, plus, but for the season, this is a lineup that still has the third lowest batting average in all of baseball. They've been held to three runs or less six of the last seven games. They strike out quite a bit as well. Third highest rate in MLB, and today they're going to be facing a righty in Yariel Rodriguez who's got 47 Ks, guys, in 45 and a third innings pitched. And a 2.75 ERA at home. The A's will be countering with Osvaldo Baito, who has good numbers as well. Uh, 192 expected batting average allowed. 330 expected ERA. I like this A's bullpen as well. Sixth in ERA. Toronto's lineup, as we know, has underperformed all season. Four runs or less, six of the last nine games. So that hasn't stopped recently. Under nine is the call here. Number two, Padres' first five run line, only minus 125 to lay the half run here. San Diego continues to win the close ones, guys. Pulled another extra inning victory out last night. Now 6-1 in extras this season. Compare that to 2023, when they ended up 2-12 and in such games. It's probably going to be a difference why they missed the playoffs last year, and will make it this year. I've been saying it for weeks now. San Diego's live to win the NL pennant this fall. Not just make the playoffs, but to win the senior circuit. Uh, for Saturday, we want to play Padres' first five run line because it's all about fading Marlins starter Rodri Munoz. This guy stinks. Talked about it on Tuesday's show when we faded him against the Reds. Munoz, he's a guy, he wasn't even effective as a starter down in AAA. So no surprise, he is the fifth worst expected ERA among all pitchers at the big league level, 6.45. He's been terrible in the first inning and worse at home than on the road. Three of his last five starts, Munoz has allowed at least six runs, including that aforementioned last one against the Reds. I think the Red Hot Padres should have no problem getting out to a lead after five innings today in Miami. So first five run line there. Three, let's now switch gears to Olympic basketball, USA versus France in the gold medal game this afternoon, 3.30 Eastern time. I'm sure a lot of you are going to be watching, and I'm going to be laying the 16 with the USA. The money's coming in, coming in on the Americans in what should be a statement spot after that close call in the semifinal against Serbia, who, by the way, just won the bronze medal. Obviously, you don't need to be reminded about the massive talent edge the U.S. has here. We all know who the most talented team is in this tournament. Head coach Steve Curry's got a lot of options to counteract France's best player, Victor Wembenyama. Uh, I see the host nation really struggling to score today. The U.S. should be locked in defensively. Also, France, they turn the ball over a lot, 14.4 times per game. U.S. has been feasting off turnovers, averaging 17.4 points per game. Foul trouble, an issue for France. They are committing 20.2 fouls per game. They just don't have the depth. Uh, if they're committing fouls to compete here. So look for the USA to not only win gold as expected, but to do so convincingly. I'm laying the points, USA, USA, this afternoon. All right, how about a little NFL preseason? I know the numbers already moved three points, but I'm still willing to lay the five and a half with Cleveland against Green Bay. It's about the respective quarterback rooms here. Now, Packers head coach Matt LaFleur, just five and eight straight up in preseason games, did indicate Jordan Love and the Packers' first-team offense will play, but he didn't really specify how much. Based on the line move and common sense, you have to suspect it's not going to be for very long. And following Love at quarterback for the Packers, Sean Clifford and Michael Pratt. Uh, this is not Penn State and Tulane, so not really excited about those options. Meanwhile, no Deshaun Watson for the Browns, but that's okay because the rest of their quarterback room has experience. Jameis Winston, Dorian Thompson-Robinson, Tyler Huntley. Remember, DTR was impressive last year in the preseason. Really impressive. It led to him even starting in the regular season when the Browns needed him. So I just say follow the money. Lay it with the Browns in this one. I think they show up at home. Now, before I get to my last play for you today, I want to let you know about a tremendous brand new 
offer going on at wagertalk.com. I'm on a 6-2 and two run heading into the weekend, and I've teamed up with my co-host of the Morning Wager, Mark Zinno, who is on a 14-1 and one run now. You can get all of our plays, that's both Mark and I, for the next three days for the low cost of $69. Today's a great time to take advantage of this because over the last 16 Saturdays, yours truly, a ridiculous 36-9 and nine record. Yes, 36-9 and nine on Saturday, uh, the last 16 weeks. Not sure what it is about Saturday. I just, I might, I guess I get a great night's sleep on Friday, but the numbers are the numbers. Just go to my page, wt.buzz slash bp, under specials. You'll find the offer. No coupon code is needed. Three full days of service from two of Wager Talk's hottest handicappers, Mark Zinno and myself. Only $69. You can't beat that. All right, I'm going to close things out with another CFB win total for the upcoming season, and it's my alma mater, Ohio University, under six and a half wins. Look, guys, this is going to be Tim Alvin's toughest challenge since he came uh over since he took over late, I should say, before the 2021 season, uh, the retirement of Frank Solich uh, took place before that season, and then Alden, uh, you know, he had some work to do, and it didn't go well his first full year. Uh, the Bobcats lost basically everyone from last season. They won 10 games last season, second year in a row, but it, it's it's not looking good in, in a town this year, guys. Curtis Rourke is the most notable departure. He left for the greener pastures of Indiana who I talked about I'd like over their season win total. Just six starters back for OU. I have them favored in only six games, so they would need to win all of those and pull one upset to get over six and a half. I just don't see that happening. Bet Ohio under six and a half wins this season. It's just the the cupboard's kind of bare for Alvin. The MAC is not particularly strong this year, but even so, I'm not uh, very optimistic on my alma mater, like I said. Let's now recap the Power 5, shall we? One, A's, Blue Jays under 9. Two, Padres first 5 run line. That is minus 125 to lay the half run. Three, USA minus 16 against France in the gold medal basketball game. Four, Browns minus 5.5 versus the Packers in the NFL preseason. And last but not least, number 5, Ohio University. Under six and a half wins for this upcoming college football season. You can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. I always love to see what you guys think, good or bad. Again, if you already haven't done so, smash that like button. Head on over to my page, wt.buzz slash bp for today's winners. And if you're not already subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel, what exactly are you waiting for? Click that bell for instant alerts when when this show drops. And I'll be on Wager Talk last call this morning as well. So more of me on a Saturday. Still working hard, even though it's the weekend. Until next time, let's cash some tickets.